a charcuterie tray is a great way, a very trendy way to get that question answered, take the stress off of yourself and present something that looks like you've been in the kitchen for hours. So let's walk through the perfect charcuterie tray. You certainly want to start out with the perfect board or platter. And you know, don't lend yourself to thinking that it has to be a cutting board sort of situation. If you've got a great looking piece of copper or a clay pot that's wonderful, that can be the basis for the presentation. Then use your favorite specialty store. I particularly love the Fresh Market. There's so many things that you can pick up in there that are quick and easy and also very unique, like the dried vegetables, their assortment of wonderful cheeses, that sort of thing to add in some uniqueness, some colorful aspects to your platter. And then how about something that's very unique, maybe a little um, hive of honey, uh, something like mixed nuts, things that you might not think would be there, a great looking olive. So keep it unique. And then finally, you might have a recipe for your, your mother's favorite cheese ball from the 50s. Bring it back, put it back on this platter with all the trendy things, and they'll say, well, my goodness, that was delicious. And you actually made part of it yourself. And then finally, rule of thumb, have about three ounces of food for each person that will be there. Some won't eat quite that much, others will eat more, but then you know about how many people can be served from the platter that you have made.